How's everybody doing? Everybody good? Excellent. Excellent. I like that. Excellent. Just a little bit. Somebody's going to be behind me. Come on. I step forward. You got to step with me, right? Here we go. The camera's going to get in front of you. Don't care about them. I do. I just got to watch my back. You know? I'm not going to do anything. Right. Tony Brooks James said, yes, okay. right. Tony Brooks James said today's technically the last day of fall camp. Then you started two week game prep. Is that accurate? And how's that changed practices, really? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say this. Yeah. <laughs> No, we're gonna um, today is not we're gonna scrimmage on on Sunday, and um, next week we just sit for our guys and, and with the staff. It's gonna be our first time actually going through a week of um, game week preparation. I want one of our guys to go through a week of game preparation before we actually get into the game week, so our guys understand. Um, procedure how we're going to do things um, game week you know we're still going we're still getting out there and we're still um, evaluating our guys to get to get ready for the, um, the season you don't have any preseason games how is a new coaching staff how do you guys prep for I mean things are moving so fast on a game day how do you prep the communication for game one week one? um like on Sunday I mean, we're gonna go and uh, um, practice as if it's a game you know we'll bring out the headsets and guys will go up in the press box and be in the area where they're gonna be and We'll go out and go through stretch and everything just so everybody knows exactly where we're going to go. So we practice some of those things throughout uh, training camp and even in spring ball, you know, so everybody will know exactly where they're at. Do you expect there to be a lot of communication issues to iron out between the guys in the headset? No, because not a lot of guys need to be talking, you know. Uh, there could be some questions asked, but um, not many need to be talking and um, guys need to speak when they're supposed to speak, and, uh, but I don't think it'll be a lot of issues. Like I said, we've, we've worked through a lot of that already in the spring, and um, I know offensively, um, every day of practice, we use headsets, you know, and, and talk. So uh, that part, that part, I think, really helps us. Speaking of game day, do you imagine that the presentation of the game day will be similar to the last year? Uh, the walk through the mow and all of that stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll walk through and, and see our fans and, and all. Um, That'd be very similar to what we've done before, you know. Um, I don't necessarily know everything that we've done, but um, I know we're going to walk to see our fans. Do you plan on adding anything? Um, again, I don't know exactly what they did last year. I just plan on doing what what we're accustomed to doing before, and and uh, it's usually the walk. Um, we get a lot of the work done in the in the morning, walk through and, and film with you, and get our guys off their feet to, to get themselves ready for the game. Start expanding and restricting reps for certain levels of guys on the depth chart right now, or is that next level? No, um, it'll be um, pretty much towards the end of next week, close to game week. You know, we'll, once we figure out who, who's going to really help us and uh, who's not, you know, right now we just again continue trying to get guys um, ready for the season. How's Braxton coming along, the two freshman quarterback? Uh, do you look at events now as the backup, and is he ready uh, to play? No, we game? haven't decided on who's backing up, who's starting, anything. You know, some guys kind of obviously they'll, they'll be starting for us, but uh, we haven't made any decision on who's starting and who's backing up what position. Again, like I said, we're still competing, and guys are still uh, being evaluated every single day. You know, but those guys are getting better. Braxton is getting better, and Taylor is, is getting better, and same with Mike. Uh, all those guys are, are getting better each and every day we get out there. What did you, what did you need to see from Braxton in training camp to say he could potentially play for us? Um, you keep bringing up Braxton like for that's just I know. I mean he's competing for that that role with Taylor as okay. well. You know, and what I need to see out of those guys is pretty much the same thing we need to see out of a starter. We need some consistency and guys that can execute our offense and. Um, Guys that don't make a lot of mental mistakes, you know. Um, you got to take care of the football. You know, the football is all of our dreams, goals, and aspiration. And there's a lot of people depending on them to take care of that ball. So we need guys to do the right thing and take care of the football. Have you decided what assistants will be coaching from the booth on game day? Um, no, not yet. You know, um, um, I'm a fifth. I'm a fifth. You know, yeah, um, I have. Offense side of the ball, um, Coach Crystal Ball will be down on the field. Um, Coach Johnson will be down on the field. Coach Templeton will be down there. Coach Arroyo will be upstairs. Um, and some of our GAs. You've described.
describe the offense's fast and up tempo? Is there a certain amount of time you like the ball snap? No, I just want to go fast. It don't matter um, the, um, the time or anything. We just we want to go fast. And you know, there'll be time where we don't go fast. You know, we we kind of dictate when we want to go fast in our offense, but we definitely don't want to be slow. You know, and we would like for, to have plenty of time on the play play clock when we do go. What are the expectations you want to see from scrimmage one to scrimmage two? Uh, one, um, less penalties. First and foremost, we we're not good enough as a football team to beat ourselves with penalties. So we got to be very disciplined from that standpoint. You know, and then uh, less missed assignments. You know, I think that's really key for our guys as we continue to uh, get closer to the game is, is to limit those missed assignments. You know, we're, we're running the same plays over and over again, and it's come the time where we just can't have those. You know, we might have some, uh, we might get beat in one on one, but um, we can't not know what we're doing. Tony Ruth James said that you guys had some discussions at, at dinner, I think, this week about the events in, in Charlottesville. Um, what what were those discussions kind of like, and what did you kind of hope to get out of discussing that with your team? Well, we just we just talked in general and wanted to get our guys feedback on what they thought about it, you know, and just make sure we were all on the same page from that standpoint, and didn't want our guys just sitting around talking about it among themselves. I'm we're, we're a team, and we want to all talk about it, and make sure um, everybody's on the same page and feeling good about it, and more importantly, just trying to always educate our guys on, on everything, not just football, but life in general, you know, because it, it's affected a lot of people, as you see, and with social media, um, it, it's, it really can affect people. Social media is, whew, you know, it, it's, it can mess with a lot of guys' minds and make them think a certain way without necessarily knowing all the truth and, and everything. So you just try to help, help the young people because a lot of them don't know, and, and we can't assume that they know, and you can't, if you don't help them think, somebody else will make them think a certain way. So, um, but more importantly, just always trying to think what's best for our football team. How is Breland progressing? How do you think about the depth behind him? Matt Breland is—he's coming along. Um, I really, I'm really impressed with all our our, our tight ends uh, uh, from spring to now. And Breland's been out there with a with a glove on on his on his wrist, like he's getting ready to fight in that McGregory <laughs> and uh, Mayweather fight. Uh, but he hadn't dropped the ball. You know, so we might let him use that all year long <laughs> out there. But he, he's coming along uh, big time. And Cam McCormick is, is doing um, some uh, great things for us, too. Uh, Bay and Matt, they all have gotten a lot better. I've been really impressed uh, with those guys. Are they where we need them to be? No, but they're a lot better than what they were when we first started off. And, and to be honest with you, I feel good about putting any one of those guys in the game and, and running our offense. I wanted to ask about some of the support staff that you brought from South Florida, uh, mm -hmm. David Kelly, Sherrod Everett, Trey Hackett. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you thought pretty highly of them to bring him here. What role do they have? Well, um, Sherrod Everett and Trey Hackett has been with me since Western Kentucky days. You know, they've been with me from the start, you know, and they understand exactly how we do things. And, and I think when, um, again, turning around a program or, or taking over a program, and you want to lay the foundation. Those are some of the better people to have along with you because they understand the, the things away from football that's probably more important in order to change that, that coach. And those guys are great at what they do. They're great um, with our players and, and, and caring about our players um, as people, not what they can do for us. And, and they just really help with uh, building the program. They're all a uh, great worker and they take pride in their jobs. And um, they've been a big part of our success over the years. Willie, speaking of South Florida, you've got a former defensive back, uh, Austin Hudson, playing up the road at Oregon State. Uh, what kind of what kind of young man are they getting up there? Um, he's a, he's a great kid, uh, great kid, uh, great athlete, you know, and uh, he'll work his tail off. Thanks, guys. Austin's yeah, up there. Coach. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we all leaving Florida coming to Oregon, huh? <laughs> How about that? Some about the state of Oregon, huh? Who you got to make Oregon able to fight? Uh. I don't care. I just, want to, I just want to watch it. Hope it's a good fight. You know, they they building it up now. Yeah. Those guys can make some money, huh? Yeah. They know how. Huh? <laughs> All right, appreciate yeah, you. Thanks, guys. Coach.